previously on. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? What the hell? You rent out graves? What kind of a fucking business is that? Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. Get the fuck I'm the out. One who found him, you see. So get, I paid the fines. Get the fuck Suicide out of department. here. What? The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Have you heard any news about the hope? The colony ship? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the aether never to be found again. Yeah, that's exactly that. that since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. So I am helping Ludwig on defeating this robot that he was mentioning to me on the last episode. And the robot is somewhere around here, so let me see how dangerous this machine is. Is that a volcano and lava? I gotta admit, this place, like the graphics, the scenery, it amazes me every day. Look at this. Look at seeing this planet right before my eyes. It's amazing. The clouds. So soft, so sunny. Like, look at this. It's like, it's amazing. Is that the robot he wants me to defeat? Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. Are you damaged? Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. This is a junkyard, not repair Navigation bay. systems have determined this location as Spacer's Choice, designated mechanical repair bay, attempting to misdirect or confuse a Spacer's Choice mechanical is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your supervisor. I don't have time for this. A punishable offense? Get the hell out of here. Alright, so I guess I have to shoot. Ooh, 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 shit. Damn, this is crazy. Alright, that was pretty quick. And you know what? I'm going to go through some of these boxes because why not? I love to scavenge, so. Wait a minute. This is a little house. I wonder what's in here. Yo, free ammo. Hell yeah. And food? Okay. Huh. This toilet looks horrible. I bet the bed looks so comfortable. So, even though I'm taking all this stuff, I know what you're thinking. Bro, what if someone lives here? Honestly, I don't think anyone's been here in a long time, so... They're not gonna miss this. I know they're not. Ludwig! My boy! Bring us honor, soldier! You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. 
I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. I'll let you be. All right, so let me go and find this weapon that Lud Ludwig actually considered given to me as a gift, so. Hiding it in the bathroom? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a very good place to hide your weapon, but the fact that he actually did hide the weapon in the bathroom is pretty funny. Alright, so I guess this is it? Yeah? Okay. You read the latest report? Ooh, this floor is dirty as hell! And this is a restaurant or a bar? Get the hell out of here. So this is it, huh? Okay. Nice. That's very thoughtful for him to give me that weapon. Alright, let me return to him to see what else he can give me. Something got you down? Nothing. Just a little Man. Oh, this is a church? Okay. Interesting. This is a nice, beautiful view. If I actually did work in a place like this, I would be happy to go work every day. Oh, sorry, I'm so used to pressing X for our conversation. Bring us honor, soldier. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. So how do I use this injury customizing unit exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I feel like I'm going to regret getting mixed up in this. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. How am I supposed to get one of those... one of these logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, alright? I've got a contact, a real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. Didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. <laughs> Sim seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. I'll let you be. All right. So you have gotten a weapon modification. Install mods at the workbench to upgrade your weapons. Changing damage types. Blah blah blah. Please move. Please move. Oh oh oh! I am so sorry. My bad. I should have not done that. Oh my god. I am such an asshole. I'm leaving now. I am leaving. How how bad did I choose to do this? Let me see. 
Okay, perfect. No one's attacking me. I am so sorry. I did not mean to hit you. I feel like an asshole. Um, let me take a look at my journal quickly. So from what I'm seeing here, I got to head to the geothermal plant. Honestly, do I really want to do this one? Yeah, why not? Let me talk to Reed Thompson. I need that code anyways. And hopefully by the time I come back to Ludwig, he would forgive me for being an asshole. I didn't mean to hit him. He was in my way. Like, holy cow. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. What? What the hell are you putting in then if it's not fish? Huh. Hello, Reed Thompson. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. She did. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let me guess, you want me to do something for you before you help me? See, I just love this. This is funny as hell. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Um... You mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Why? Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame those workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. 
kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I can use the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. Get out. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration skill. Oh, that is sick. So it actually does pay to have someone be with you. Nice. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, I respect that. He seems kind of like a gome mierda, though, like someone who is so full of hey, himself. Man, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Figures, Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Did you know this Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Wow, that's sad. You can't leave it at that. Why were Reed and Adelaide arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Well, how well did you know the deserters? Do you work with them? You were friends or what? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around. Asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. I can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. 
Where would I find them? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Well, stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Hmm, okay. So in that case, we can definitely go visit the... Let me see here. So I'll definitely go speak to the vicar, see what he says about the situation. And I assume this is the place, so... Let's see what is his two cents about the situation. Weird in here. It's too clean. It is a church, so that cleanliness is next to godliness. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Pravarti wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. Uh, what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Yep. Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. Aww. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible. Then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Why would a Vitgar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you're after this contraband tax. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe, since you are acting on my behalf. Maybe I'll get your book and sell it to someone else. I can assure you, you won't find another willing to risk imprisonment to possess this book. Nor anyone willing to pay the price I can offer. You make a compelling argument. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree to this. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it? I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here.
Very interesting. So it seems like whenever I ask for help, I get a quest instead of a landing hand. Now, let me see if I can just... I'm looking for a book. I'm looking for medical. And the die robot thing. Let me see if I'm able to do this one. Alright, so... I'm going to find the medicine for Arbonati. That way he'll be relieved. So let's get to it. Okay, this is actually pretty exciting, like, the comeback on this, the fact that I can actually tell my companion when to attack and how to attack, it's pretty sick. So I'm going to the community center and, oh shit, oh there's a whole bunch of these guys. At least my weapon's pretty good though. You good, you good. Damn, that's sick! I just love the way she attacks, it's so cool. Now, did you know the same voice actor that plays Pervardi is the same one that plays Alloy from Horizon Zero Dawn? Damn! This is nice, I like this. There you go. And another one, let's go. Ah, there's nothing for me to take, come on. Oh, okay, let's go. Thank God for slow motion. I just realized that I'm dying. Holy shit. Alright, one more. Alright, so we gotta go to this community center. This is where we are able to find the medicine for Albernatney, so let's check it out. Of course there's a whole bunch of them. What the hell? You ready? I know I'm ready. Nice. Ooh. Who's that? Who's that? Ooh. Ooh. This is intense. Just to get some medicine, too. Oh! Shit! She just runs right in front of my gun. Like, she could have gotten hurt. I am taking anything and everything at this point because why not? I deserve it. Damn, they've been sleeping here? I'll take that. Ooh, I'm just taking everything at this point. Hell yeah. This is definitely in my top three games of RPG games I've played. Alright, so wait a minute, is that milk? Water? Okay. This is really nice. I like this. I'm just stealing everything. I really don't care. You best believe I'm gonna salvage everything I see here. I have mad bullets too. At this point, I'm all set. I don't even need to buy anything. Alright, that's outside, so... I can sell stuff here if I wanted to. Let me go through here. 
because I definitely want to get the medicine at least. Oh, it's right here. Nice. I got the medicine. This is dope. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Hell yeah. You know what? Even though we got the medicine, I low-key want to look for other stuff as well, so... Don't judge me! Damn! Oh, I can't even go through here. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I always find a way to get inside because I definitely wanna wanna get these things. Ooh, a shotgun! Hey, yo, it's a good thing I came here. Why wouldn't we wait? What's in here? Everyone, the key card and coder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully, you won't go on the fritz again and start shooting key cards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a key card from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your card. Director Pickett, I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Mena Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. Hello, Mr. Pickett. This letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Mena Queen. So you may, as you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Damn. Please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of their gravesite fees as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damage, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting exp expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Damn, that sucks. So he sent all those guys just for them to get killed. That is so sad. Ooh. I mean, they're not really going to use this, nor would they actually need this, so... Okay, so it's kind of like a museum. I dig it. Alright, so let me go upstairs, I'm curious. Ooh, a leg. That's crazy. Ah, that's the body. Cool. Now I know where the body's at. That's pretty cool. What is that noise? That noise is bugging me. I bet it's an animal somewhere, right? I am just picking up all this, all these bullets, man. Okay, so I found something down here. Okay, so we've been through here before, nothing new, strange. Alright, so I think we're all set here, we got everything we needed, so let's go back to Edgewater. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.